Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this on Facebook and asked how you could cut words out that are bigger than your laser bed. So I made a laser bed that is uh, 24 by 12, which is a normal smaller laser. And if you look, this is about the biggest you could get on your laser bed. And one thing you can think of, and it won't help that much because this thing is 24 inches long right now. So let's make it with the ratio lock, let's make it 23 and a half to make it have some, uh, a little bit of overage. And you could always angle it just a little bit. And whoop, because on this particular one, you can't angle it very much. But you could bring that down on the bottom, rotate it, bring it back up as far as you can. You kind of get the idea. And then maybe put it back, angle a little bit. And you could always move your center rotation. That happens when you don't hit that X. Move your center rotation in there, and that way you can move it down and then you could uh, minutely move it up. So you're not gonna gain that much, but then you could expand it out a little bit and it would fit in your laser bed if you moved it around. And then if we put it back to zero, now you've got 24, so you've gained only a half an inch. So that's not gonna really help you very much. But you can put a join in there, and I do this all the time and it works. You would want to test this with a scrap piece of wood. But what I would do is take like a half inch circle, whoop, half inch circle. You don't want to make it too big. And put it like right in the middle. Now for this, I really want it kind of at an angle, but we'll do that later. So now I'm going to put a rectangle make it about at least a quarter inch wide and then bring it into your picture. And it'd be better if it was at an angle, kind of like, like the drawing itself. And then grab those two and weld it. So you have that piece and then kind of move it in the uh, more of a middle and then take a two point line and draw it. That's going to be your cutoff and then move that line just inside that area and then take your virtual segment delete key and delete that. So this is going to be your joint. So you're going to have two joints. So we raise that one up out of the way and don't really change the female one. So I'm going to nudge it over one time maybe a couple of times. Now this is where it's going to really help you and you could get rid of this other one now. You really need, when you work on this, you really need a flat surface. So we're going to left click, right click. Of course, make sure it's a hairline. And then it'd be nice to have this line at an angle and actually have this thing more in the middle, but that's fine. So now we're going to, Double, well, first of all, I'm going to bring in an indexing line and have it snap to that node and then double click on it and move your center of the rotation of that joint right there. Not quite there yet. And then while it's rotating, you can rotate this like this to get it perpendicular because it's going to be a lot easier to work on. Then let's set your nudge factor and you would want to test this on some scrap piece of wood. Let's set our nudge factor on 0 0.03. And then we're going to take this node right here and nudge it up 0 0.03. Whoop. That looks like, no, I'm sorry. 0.003 because what you're trying to do is make up for that curve. 
just that little bit of minute movement. And this is where you'd want to test it on some wood. Now, take a, another ellipse, I've got mine set on, and make it 5.06. Oh, 0.506. Point five zero six. You're making it just a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and make it black so we can see it. And then put it inside this circle. So the, the red should be showing through all the way around. And you could play with that a little bit more. Now take your virtual segment delete key and delete that red line. Of course, you'd want to do a little more perfect. Now, if you will take your Smart Fill tool and fill that in, and let's nudge that up out of the way or just move it out of the way, and left click, right click, and left click, right click. I'm gonna make that one in black. So don't forget to get rid of this one so you'll know which one's what and see it's not together so it's like that and bring this up. And if you had, if you did on a small piece of wood, let's see if we can't get this guy right there. Double click on it, put your center rotation to there. Double click on it again and move that point to there. You'll be able to see that the Red now is just on the outside of the black. That should hold. Especially on something like this, you're going to paint it anyway. Once you glue that, and I, I've done this with joints, you don't even have to glue it so tight. You actually have to take a little piece of block of wood with a hammer and kind of force it down in there. But it wouldn't hurt to glue it, let it dry, and then sand that off. And then when you painted it, that should be non uh, you won't be able to see it or shouldn't be able to see it, especially if you put a good coat of paint on it. But as you see, the the red is just going to be a little bit thicker, so it's going to take up that curve. And you could try, you know, 0 .004, but if you start off with just, uh, you know, a block of wood and do the same thing I did and just test it, test your curve of your laser because all lasers are going to be a little bit different and that's how that works. And it works. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.